Welcome back to my channel. This is Robin. I was gardening zone six in Northwest Connecticut. So um, in a previous video, I dug up all my orange daylilies, <laughs> gave them all away, and I'm redoing those areas. So I thought you might like to see what I ended up with and how things are going. Um, what I can tell you is this is not an opportune time to be planting. You really need to be on top of watering. I highly suggest that you wait at least till September at this point, if you can, to um, transplant or to put in some new things. I have some certain reasons. Um, I'm taking a trip um, and I really need to get things established uh, before I go away. But uh, I don't suggest doing it at this time of the year. So let's uh, take a look and see how things are going there. Okay, so the first thing I'm thinking about is I have right there an oh so easy Italian ice rose and I have another one hiding back here. I'm going to take that one that's kind of buried behind the cone flowers and I'm going to move it over here and then I have a large hybrid tea rose that I think I'm going to put over here and I'm going to try that. My middle layer basically is going to be the ilexes that I have there. The helenium right here and the aster and then the grasses. Um, the reason I'm thinking of putting the Russian sage back here is um, the sprinkler doesn't water this area really good. I often, if it's really dry, I have to like hand water the joe pie weed. But, uh, so they won't get too much water. Um, which they don't like. So I'm gonna try this out and see what I think. Okay, so this is how this ended up. So I've got two oh so easy Italian ice roses. I've got three drops of Jupiter uh, uh, ornamental oregano. Those are the drumstick alliums. I've got three banana cream daisies. I've got three uh, Cheyenne Spirits, Echinacea, got Sombrero Yellow Coneflowers, and then I've got three Denim and Lace. Um, and then there's the, there's my Peace Rose right here. Um, it's gotten so big I had to take it out of a container. So you can see behind them, here's Joe Pie Weed, here's the Herbstone, Rebecca. Next to it is Henry Eilers. And then now finally blooming is Kareen Hil Helianthus. So we've got quite a quite a wall. Let me get back. We've got quite a wall of yellow going here. And then we've got Helenium that is just starting to open. Let's see if I can get in there a little bit. There's the helenium. And then, like I said, this aster right here is Raiden's favorite, a really pretty lavender. And we still have some Allium Millenniums back there. And like I said, more drumstick Alliums. So hopefully this oh so easy rose will do better. I mean, it's still a good size, actually, um, but it just was not doing well over here behind the sombrero cone flowers. So I've been giving all these things extra water. You really have to be so diligent at this point. It is so hot and it is so dry everywhere in the country, I think, except, God forbid, the poor people in Kentucky. Um, but it's um, if you're going to plant something now for whatever reason, you have to make sure that you're watering really good. On another note, I love this mudri grass. Look how this just, oh my God, this just shines in, in with the sun on it. I just love this so much. So this is how this bed came out. Let me know what you think. So this is what this bed is looking like all finished. For now, for now, anyway. Things are struggling, it's super hot. The um, wee bit grumpy hydrangea, really struggling, but finally starting to rebloom. 
There's the Nepeta that I put in, the new one. I have some new uh, irises that I just planted. The newly noir coleus is finally growing. Uh, here are the new um, banana cream. Uh, no, those are the spun silk. Spun silk daisies that I popped in there. Um, dahlias are growing. The nine marks, this one is really slow. That's tiny wine gold. But Festivus gold is doing really nice, actually. Um, this is a shrub called Wickstromia. And uh, I guarantee you've probably never seen it. It's got a tiny little yellow flower on it. It's, I think it's pretty rare, actually. I don't know how I <laughs> managed to get my hands on it, but I did. Uh, the Senorita Cleome back there. We've got a few sunflowers coming up. Sunflower Steve. And then, um, again, the hydrangeas are uh, struggling. Uh, I've been watering excessively, but you can see they're, they're kind of frying. It's just so hot. It's kind of, kind of nuts at this point. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with the way things I'm look. Gonna, I have two very big daylilies that I'm going to take out of another bed, but I'm not going to do that till the fall because there's no need to do it right now. Um, I'm going to put daylilies along the back there that I'm going to transplant again from some other spots. So right here, I had um, one of the orange daylilies, uh, Primal Scream, and then right next to it over here, I had a red one called Firecracker. This is a peach colored one called Why Not? And it has just, it's actually only had one bloom so far. So I moved um, a lemony lace elderberry here. We're gonna see how it's doing. It was not doing well in its pot. I tried another location, it wasn't doing well. Hopefully three strikes, you're not out. Um, and we're gonna see how this is gonna do over here. So, this so it's been a couple of days. Um, um, I think I like what I finished here. <laughs> um, like I said, you can see the drops of Jupiter down there. I moved the um, oh so easy Italian ice over there. The Hellenium are right there. We've got Aster there. So the Peace Rose seems to be handling the move pretty well. Um, I was really worried about that. I don't want anything to happen to that. I cut back the uh, banana cream. I think this is banana cream or is that spun silk? Yep, banana cream to daisies. And all the, I'm going to say the cone flowers look good. Um, Russian sage looks good. Everything looks like it's transplanted pretty well in here. Um, overall, I think I'm... Uh, I'm very pleased. I'd love to know what you think. Uh, all those, all that orange daylilies were really bothering me. So again, you can see in the back, that's the herb stone. Whoa, B. Henry Eilers and Helianthus Kareen, and then a big tall Joe Pie weed there. Um, I know I talked about those before, so let me see if I can zoom in a little bit better. I love this. It's super tall, though. It really needs better staking. Every year I say I'm going to get to it better. There's Henry Eilers. I love that. And then here is Kareen Helianthus. Really pretty. Soft, buttery yellow. So I think with the yellow cone flowers in here, I think I'm going to like this. Uh, Cheyenne Sky's got so many um, Cheyenne Spirit um, cone flowers have lots of different variations on their color. And then with the uh, Peace Rose, which is that really pretty, let me get a close up here of this uh, like peachy pink pale ivory. I think that's going to go really nice. And then with the Denim and Lace Russian Sage in the back there, when it puts on a little bit more size. And then the Sombrero cone flowers right here in the front and then the drops of Jupiter are actually starting to oh let's see if we can get it there we go um, starting to flower 
So we've got, you know, like the purple and the, the rose colors and the yellows right here. And of course the alliums here are finished, the drumstick alliums. They were green and purple. So when those are blooming, um, they'll come back next year. You know, it'll be really pretty. And then uh, once the roses, uh, you know, it's been hot. I've been trying to water. So once those roses start blooming, we'll really have a nice connection between the oh so easy Italian ice and this peace rose back here. So I'd love to know what you think about how this came out. I am very pleased with the way this bed is turning out. Um, look at that supertunia latte. Love that. Oh my God. I love that. A uh, wee bit grumpy is finally starting to grow a little. Sorry about my finger. Starting to grow. Uh, the irises I put in are still there, surprisingly enough. Um, Cleome. It's doing a little bit better. I've really been giving it water. The Wickstromia. Uh, it's got a few little blooms on it. Let's see if we can get back there and show you what that looks like. Really tiny little yellow flowers. This is really pretty rare, actually. Um, shrub, like I said, the Cleome. Senorita Blanca is doing pretty well. Whoops, let's see if I can get myself out of here without uh, taking down half the plants. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Hukura. Hukura. Doing well. Wicked Witch Coleus. Oh no, Nuli Noir. Why do I call that the wrong one every single time? Because I have a lot of Wicked Witch. Agora that I planted is doing really well. Got some sunflowers coming up in the back there. Sunflower Steve. I think a lot of you are familiar with his sunflowers. I can't wait to see those come up. Here's the Price is White uh, coneflowers. Uh, you'll remember I put in spun silk daisies over here in and among the Nuli Noir coleus, which of course will come out because they'll, they're annuals. Um, starting to get some dahlias blooming. The Black Eyed Susans are all blooming. Uh, hydrangeas seem to be holding their own. This one is getting a little fried, but the others seem reasonably okay. Another Gora. And then the Superbina. Uh, Royal Romance. I'm, I'm really happy with this. This is done really nicely. Uh, this is done. This is done really nice. The foliage doesn't look great, but then I probably could do a little work on cleaning it up, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, today I did a little work cutting back um, my daylilies a little bit. It's not something you have to do. Um, I did it because we are having so much trouble with voles um, that I can't see the holes, or my, sh I should say my husband can't see the holes clearly enough. Um, so I'm trying to cut foliage back where I can um, to try and, you know, make it a little bit more obvious. And one last thing I will show you, uh, a great fall, um, shrub calicarpa beautyberry this is going to be completely lined with purple berries come fall um, it's already starting and it has gotten look at the size of this thing every year i cut this back and every year it just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing so again i have a spot over here where i pulled the orange day lilies and I am going to be putting some burgundy ones in here um, and also right along the back there. Um, but I'm not going to do that until really things are finished blooming. There's no need. I, I don't need to move them now. It's not something that's sitting in a pot. It's in the ground. I'm just going to leave it for right now. And um, we'll get to it as the fall progresses. So that's how this bed has turned out so far. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Considering this is a brand new bed, I think it looks pretty darn good. So 
always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit that like button. It really does make a difference. And I'll see you in the next video.